Hey guys, um, in today's today I would like to discuss or talk about some of the really kind of little application I've been playing with. I've been writing JavaScript and kind of like trying to use AngularJS into it. Well, even before you know, let me let me start showing you the code and how to, what what it does and what kind of code is needed to do stuff like this. Uh, let let me show you what the application does. It's a very simple application, but and I'll tell you what. And then after that, as usual, you know, and I will go one by one from the code and tell you how to do stuff like this. Try to give a basic description of it. All right, let me run. I think my default browser. Currently, by default, my Visual Studio is running in Chrome browser. So let's go ahead and build it. So all you can see right now is a text box. Okay, and as you. Um, if you if you type anything any 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 character nothing happens because um, however if you start typing uh, numbers then you will see basically I type eight here you know corresponding you know corresponding text of eight is displayed right here and it's kind of this image right here is telling you this corresponds to a country maybe in America we speak English of course you know in Spain they speak Spanish and in France they speak French and let's say eight is that's pretty should be pretty simple right i mean like let's see we can convert that into two numbers it's 88 and 88 and of course you know i'm not going to even try to pronounce this word and often french people so i will just start with the three digit number let's see so 889 in english and in spanish we say 889 and of course in french that is that and we can go as you, as you can see we can go up to a thousand and we can go into uh, 88,000 or maybe all the way up to a million is 88 million and now we can go up to a billion I think that's the last it can do right now and once it reaches like you know this many digits it, it doesn't do anything automatically closes out and if you type any other uh, alpha character or maybe something like you type number all the way, and you you know by mis and you maybe you decide to type something like a character. It doesn't know. Hey, I don't know how to convert a character into so it goes away. And that's what this application does. And of course, like like I already told you, in terms of technology, what it is using is mainly JavaScript, of course. You know, the and uh, Angular JS. I love it. The feature provided by AngularJS is really, really cool, and then of course some CSS and HTML. Okay, that is the basic thing. Of course, you know, let's, it's not that bad, but let's look it into the code. So, well, this is my Visual Studio. I started um, project, but uh, all the, all the code that I showed you it just belongs into this uh, little folder called HTML, and here is this page HTML page and corresponding to that HTML page I have a, a JavaScript okay let's first look at into into our HTML page here a very simple HTML5 page you know a doc type and stuff like that and, and of course um, reference to AngularJS the library that you have to download and then of course my corresponding JavaScript file that I showed you right here I'm going to talk about that as a, that one later and just to uh, reference to bootstrap CSS that's not really even part of it so let's not worry about it and of course you know and here is the body side of the HTML and uh, okay so basically this deep tag is really is is where all the magic and all those happen. Basically, this one is just you know uh, plain HTML. Nothing is there. All right. So here is you know the ng app. Just like the, this ng app directive is is assigned to a, a module that I have in my JavaScript file. I'll show you later. And inside that, in in this module, I have a controller. ng control directive is set to that controller called norm to text conversion controller very easy and then of course you know uh, in here I'm using a lot of directives so kind of like and here's a number please text and then after that 
I have an input number and the model, NG model is basically assigned to input number. That way this variable will be available to me from JavaScript later on in the memory and it's a kind of neat way. And then of course I'm using ng key up directive and that is basically assigned to a function called convert to text. Of course, you know, this function will be attached to this scope. Right? And then just the just the class here. Giving to a class to the text box. No big deal. Okay, and after that, it, remember like I have a three three deep container here. Three you know, like three div and each of them is separated by a line break. And this as you already guessed, you know, this basically refers to um <coughs> this basically refers to these three images. Um, let's see, these three, you know, basically these are the div container. Is is this is one container? This one div, two div, and three div. That's what it is. And you know, like, and inside the div, I have image. So I know this result belongs to USA, English speaking country. So uh, I was I just assigned that uh, image to it. And then this is my binding. I love it. Nice. And I said, okay, results in English. I will show you what how it's binding really occurs later in the JavaScript. And this is results in English, results in Spanish, result in Spanish, and the results in French. And then of course you know it has a French um, France France flag on it. And the other directive I'm using right here is called ng so and this one is basically set to a variable called suit display board. It's a Boolean variable. Uh, initially it is set to false. So uh, this is the basic markup. Very um the thing is there. Let me make it a little bigger. See? And of course in terms of CSS. So base this is a board. This is this is the um, you know the blackboard. It, that's why I have said the deep, the background of the of that div is a the blackboard image and the Gibson color and, and the height and width and stuff like that. And I use the font family as a shul card gothic. That's why, you know, like this kind of square looking is the reason of that one. That is that. And okay, it works in a, in a Chrome. I initially, you know, I spent a lot of time debugging in both the browsers like on, on Chrome and Firefox and Inner Explorer. I love debugging tool provided by all these browsers, it's really cool. Okay, anyway, and then um, let's check this one into, uh, and the other thing you might have noticed that as, as I start typing the letter, I mean as, as digit number, the sound, <coughs> the sound comes up, it's because I have this little audio, I, I record a little audio clip and, and basically trying to Imitate somebody typing something, you know. But uh, I used that software, but didn't come out that good. But that's that's the goal. Okay. So, all right. It was really good in 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 Chrome. And this this is my IE ten. Let's test it. How does it get, how it gonna work? Oh my! I, it will help, wouldn't it? Because I closed my visual at the the casino. Okay. Now. No, it should be good. should be working. Okay. Ah, okay. The other thing is like you know, um, if the sound doesn't come, doesn't work in i browser because it is a web files, or or for the it is I have a two file. I recorded two file and saved it. Uh, let me show you. Basically, um, here's my sound folder, and I, I have a two that OZZ file that works in a Chrome browser, and this web it does none of these file options really works in IE 10 so IE 11 browser so I'm kinda of toast well I should be using some other other kind of file format which IE can play that is kinda of like to do work okay that is the HTML side not that bad right okay let's go, let's switch gear into uh, into the JavaScript which is of course first, first of all there is a uh, it's Hughes. First of all, there is a by itself a Hughes API converting all those number up to billions into a text and in, even in different languages and stuff. 
So of course I'm not going to go over every line of code, but I'll give you the basic idea.